yes, there's protection, there's provision there, but it's just like you can't want your kid. I want my want to be his one. Hello, I am Tanisha Hayes. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, thank you for showing up. So today we're going to talk about um, people pleaser um, or being a people pleaser. And I'm going to just read my notes. Um, just to stay focused on uh, the task. Um, three things first. Um, I heard Watchmen Watch. This was probably June, late June, early July to pray. And then also, um, I heard watch. And then I'm going to define watch. Watch is the act or custody or concretely the century, the post, objectively preservation or concretely safe, figuratively observance, abstractly duty or objectively a usage or party, charge, keep. Or to be kept, office, ordinance, safeguard, ward, watch. And then properly to lean forward, to peer into the distance, by implication to observe, await, behold, look up well, wait for, keep the watchman. So... Today, we're going to talk about people pleasers. Let me get back in focus. So um, our scripture is Colossians 3, 22 through 24. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. So from there we go to please God. That is Psalm 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So I'm just going to go ahead and start reading those, those notes. A lot of us were groomed to be people pleasers. It is a manipulation tactic of the enemy to make you go against what you feel you should do, especially concerning the things of God. Manipulative behavior is when a person uses controlling and harmful behaviors to avoid responsibility, conceal their intentions, or cause doubt and confusion in a skillful manner toward an individual or a group. However, you may enjoy the praise from people pleasing, but that's why you must humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Praise is only intended for God. Know that once you can't give into their every whim or request, no matter how big or small, they can or will turn on you. So it creates double-mindedness and wanting to please those around you and God. And sometimes you're not even aware. It creates a fear you don't even realize. And the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That is in everything. Even the very things you are graced and anointed to do becomes unstable. So we know that is, again, James 1 and 8. Double-minded means wavering, uncertain, Doubting between different opinions or actions. But First Kings 18.21 part A says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. You have a will to fulfill and people to save. So you need to choose to please God. So we're going to go to Ephesians 6 verses 6 through 8. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. So um, in my time with uh, Covered by God, I learned about uh, repent, renounce, and replace. 
um, last year, the Holy Spirit uh, was like, well, for some people, you have to repent, renounce, but then you also need the Holy Spirit to reveal so that he can remove and then you replace. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this prayer and then we're just going to wrap it up. Um, you can just, and it's going to be in the description box as well. Lord, I repent for people pleasing. I renounce, denounce, and divorce myself from people pleasing. Holy Spirit, please reveal to me all areas where I seek to please man to steal God's glory and help me to remove it. I believe your word when you said, and whatsoever I do, do it from the heart. As to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord I shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for I serve the Lord Christ. In Colossians 3, 23-24, I believe you and your word to be true. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so thank y'all so much for tuning in. It's going to be short, sweet today. This went strictly off of that. Didn't add anything. That's what I was giving. That's what I'm saying. So um, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If it has blessed you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for being with me. We, we're in it a year now, so I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for that. Again, thank you for watching. What is to come, watch the, uh, pre prepare for what is to come. We now know what it is. I'm going to, um, well, no. Nah. Hopefully, <laughs> you've been fasting and praying, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Y'all be good. Okay, so I was told me was don't play in my face.